18. Weather from where you live. On well, this day, 1978, we were cleaning up from an F1 tornado that passed through part of Cass County, northeast of Georgetown. Winds of over 100 miles an hour with it and damage up to $90,000. And there was sporadic straight line wind damage through Carroll and right up through Fulton counties. There's the strong system in north central Illinois. And right here, where you see the three fronts come together, that's called a triple point. It's right where that triple point is or was that the tornado occurred in Cass County. And those tend to be places where you can get pretty long lived tornadoes. And right in this little triangular slot here, that's a little warm sector that brought uh, the sporadic uh, straight line wind damage from Delphi all the way to Rochester. It's quiet night though, variably cloudy over the area, but it will go mostly cloudy for everybody soon once again as this clipper dives southeast where now these snow showers will pass tomorrow morning. Then we'll get a break and some of these flurries and scattered snow showers will pass in the late afternoon and towards the evening hours. 19 at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning and then during the break we'll get a little sun and it will warm up to 34. Then we'll start to fall late in the afternoon as the wind turns back to the northwest. It will be a windy day, but the thing is those morning snow showers uh, may accumulate one inch or less. There may be a few slick spots. Then everything melts like that. And we see the PM, the late PM flurries and scattered snow showers, dry, windy, cold Thursday to Friday. And then Saturday's preset may begin as a brief period of some light freezing rain sleep before it goes to just plain old rainfall. Tonight, though, we go mostly cloudy for everybody again. But I do think tomorrow morning, even though Precision Futurecast doesn't show it, there will be a wave of snow showers that pass through again one inch or less of accumulation, then a break, little sun, and then in the afternoon the clouds build and fill in and a few more scattered flurries and snow showers will come in from the northwest. Winds gusting tomorrow to 40 miles an hour though, then we clear out tomorrow night, way down in the low teens. Thursday, notice the clock here and the lack of cloud cover, a bright but windy and cold day, and Friday will feature increasing clouds. Low to mid 30s tomorrow before falling, Later in the afternoon, 34 for the High Lafayette and Williamsport, as well as Burlington and Camden. Colder on Thursday, mid-20s to right around 30. 30 Dayton, 29 Otterburn, and about 30 at Lafayette. But by the weekend, the preset may start as at least a few scattered freezing rain and sleet showers before you go to a few scattered showers Saturday, periodic showers and a few thunderstorms Sunday, and then shower storms early Monday, then the storm system races out and temperatures start to fall. So the thing is, after what could be a one to two inch rain and warmer weather, the 59 degree high on Monday is very misleading. That's going to be towards dawn. Most of the day will be spent in the 40s, but 55 Sunday and Saturday, a good chunk of the day will be in the 30s to around 40, but we'll hit 44 by evening. So kind of topsy turvy temps for the weekend, but a continuation uh, overall of pretty cold temperatures for the rest of the week, but we'll take 34 over what 18 today. Absolutely. I tell you yeah. what, though, I'm going to be focused on that 55. 55.